All right, we're going to continue in Lee We got uh, a couple more bosses here before we head to Volcano Manor. What do we have? We have Bowls, we got Smarag, the Crystallian Duo, and then I think the Urtree Burial Watchdog. And then we will warp to Volcano Manor after that. And be in Altus for a bit. Altus, then Caleb, then back here in Lee Going all around the world. Oh, lag. Oof, immediately stomped. Jesus. That didn't work. Missed with all of that. Have I done ornamental straight swords? I have not. I don't think so. I, I know I haven't done the run with them. I don't know if they've been requested. It doesn't matter even if they haven't. As long as you haven't requested them, you could request it. But I don't think they've even been requested. No. I tried to get away from that one. Because <laughs> I knew it was coming. Oh, come on. Blow it up. Blow the dragon up with waterfowl. That is what I decided to do. I used the def or blow it up pretty loosely. Because we didn't really blow it up. Hey, we're three months and ten days away from DLC. That's pretty nuts. It's already been almost three weeks since the trailer. That last month I feel like is gonna be very slow though. To whoever has my voodoo doll stroke it a little. Ugh. Can't type that in here. It's gross. Ban you then? <laughs> Ow. Ow. That attack's actually scary though. The stallions. Once again. Please stagger. Boom. Waterfowl time. See, that's an explosion right there. Crystal release. That also sounds like an explosion. So we got Cliff Bottom Catacombs and in it an Erd Tree Burial Watchdog. Should be pretty straightforward. And then in like three bosses, we fight another Erd Tree Burial Watchdog. Fun stuff. It's always weird when you fight the same boss within like two or three bosses of each other. You got banned or muted like seven times on Twitch this past month for what? Telling people to stroke your voodoo doll? Oh god. Ooh, I don't know how I didn't die there. Somehow landed on that. Drew Tut, a league streamer, he said stop crying, Polish man. Got a perma. I mean, sometimes people just are like in a, you know, maybe either are in a bad mood or like sometimes people are so big, like I don't know who you're talking about, but like, you know, sometimes people are just like so big they don't care who they ban. And some pe sometimes people just do it because, you know, 
I mean, in, in reality, it's just their chat. They can do whatever they want with it. Even if you think someone got, like, overly offended, like, it's still, you know, they still have the right to do it. Sometimes it's not even them, it's a mod. That's true, too. In Macro, I got banned multiple times, but it's all fun in games he loves you. Yeah, see, that I, that I get. Like, banning someone is, like, kind of like a joke, but, you know, it depends on, I guess, what you're saying. Like, how... Maybe how much of a regular you are in some streams. Whoops. You know, if you're just some, like, random dude who just goes into someone's chat for the first time and says, Stop crying, Polish man, it's very different than if it's someone that you've been in the chat with for a long time and they know you're joking. All right, uh, we are going back here. On the first two streams, it was just a few times when I'm fairly regular in Macro's chat. I think it just depends on the vibes too, you know? I see some chats on Twitch where there will just be like no negative, like there's no tolerance for like any joke negativity anywhere. Where are we going? Going, oh yeah, Volcano Manor. I had to think about it for a second. And like those overly positive streams just, I don't know, they're weird for me. Because it's like there's no, there's no joking, you know? It's just all serious positivity. And that's fine if people want to run their streams like that. I'm not saying it's not. It just feels like if you want to like, rag on the streamer, it, you, you just can't. Which specific boss is your least favorite among all 165? Hmm. I gotta think about that one. Probably Rykard if I'm not using Serpent Hunter. Well, it depends on what I'm using for Rykard. Because Rykard without Serpent Hunter just sucks, and it's like the one fight I dread every run. Archery Burial Watchdog 12. Joke's on you, there's only six. Other than Rykard, though, probably Godskin Duo. But even not, not even in like New Game Plus, they just really only suck in New Game. The final one, New Game Plus. And I don't mean for it to sound like it, it's bad to be just positive all the time, but like, I don't know, it's just it's just a different vibe, I guess, you know? Hit. Thank you. Keep hitting. So something crazy happened yesterday. I actually was like caught up on editing of this run, which is wild. That like has not happened probably ever for me to be caught up on like a an ongoing run on Twitch, which maybe that means it's a bad thing because I don't have a, a serious backlog, but it's probably not a bad thing. Positive all the time on League stream seems impossible. <laughs> That's true. Like, I'm just trying to get caught up on the, all these recordings because I want to get to editing the hand ballista and still armored core. Oh, I need to not die here. Oh my god, I hate you. I kind of forgot about that. I spaced out. Yeah, that armored core plates are from like, you know, nine months ago. Not nine months ago, eight months ago? Maybe seven. I don't know, whatever. I still, uh, <laughs> still sitting on like two playthroughs of that unedited. And I just haven't had the time to throw it on YouTube. Hopefully soon, though. And then the hand ballista. And once the hand ballista run is done, then I'm going to hop back on the straight sword hilt. Like, once that is on YouTube, I'm going to probably do more straight sword hilt. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, um, you know, how close Elden Ring DLC is. Because the hand ballista is still going to take a while for me to get out. No point in even picking these up, honestly. Mm, I don't think I'm going to die here. Perfect. And I still want to do another Elden Ring randomizer as well before the DLC. I probably am going to need like a month for that with my uh, schedule or the way everything's laid out. Like at MMOs, because I want to do all bosses and like some other, you know, nonsense restrictions. And I'm thinking at most it's going to be like 30 hours. And that would basically be a month of streaming if I'm doing on, you know, weapon runs at the same time. Six
actually worked. Wow. I didn't think you'd get a step. That was a very lucky stagger, honestly. Your posture break. I guess it's kind of the same thing in the noble's case. Don't think you can have one without the other. So the Abductor Virgin Duo, then Wyndham Catacombs, Tibby Mariner, and then a couple more Altus bosses after that, and then we'll go back to Kaelid. The boss looked like me with no shirt on. <laughs> Did you have uh, faces on the side of your, or on your body? That's a, a very subtle detail of that armor, is that there's like faces all over the armor. Because it's the skin of gods. I'll still never forget the, the fan translated lyrics of that song, or I'll be paraphrasing, I guess I kind of forget, but like, basically the someone transcribed the lyrics, which are just like nothing, they're not even words in any language, but someone's like, yeah, I know Spanish, therefore I can derive this Latin. It's not Latin, but anyways, it's like, the lyrics say, I will take your skin, or something like that. Like I said, paraphrasing, which I believe, because again, there are faces on their skin. That's a fun week. Because one dude, he just, he transcribed like four or five songs uh, in Elden Ring. I think he did the Godskin theme, Godric's theme maybe? Radon's theme, Moog's theme. But none of those really sing any words, like any real words in any language, so. Someone called him out on it. Like people were doing the research, they were like talking to the people who made the, the words for the music. The gibberish for the music. Uh oh. Get out. Get out. Damn it. Inquisitor's Chirandol. I tried it. I wonder what weapons in this game I actually have never, like, picked up, to be honest. Or, like, used, I guess. Because I did... I did a randomizer. My first Elden Ring randomizer was every boss, except for patches, because I just couldn't get him to be in the right place. Uh, I did every boss with a different weapon, so I used a lot of weapons on that run. But I'm sure there's still a lot I've never actually used. Damn. Can't level. To knock off Moog's spear. It doesn't have Nihil, obviously. Is it somber? I think I've used it before, but like for one boss. The next run I want to do, the next randomizer, I want to do kind of a similar thing, except I have to use the gear in the order I equip it, and then after every boss I have to get rid of it. That would be for for weapons and armor. I wouldn't do it for talismans. I mean I guess I could do it for talismans, but I don't know. I don't feel like I need to. I guess I could. It's not the correct way to say Nihil. Sorry. That's how Moog says it. Nihil. You have to say it like it's your last words ever. That's probably how I would say my last words ever, to be honest. Or do you mean like an old man? Hill. Like that? That better? If I am so lucky to live to be old. Thank you, hyper armor. Damn it. You only get hyper armor if you're in the attack. Not between. Your last words will be the deepest league line. 
team are reporting for duty. Those are good ones. You can milk those? Oh, that's even better. I think it's Captain Timo reporting for duty, actually, now that I think about it. But again, I haven't heard the lines in 14 years. 14 years. 10 years. Same thing. Once you get past 10, it's the same. 10, 20, who cares? Gilica Godefroy. I was actually watching back my uh, my first playthrough of Elden Ring. It's interesting to see, like, my, I guess, thoughts, you know, as, as you're coming up on everything for the first time. Also, the microphone quality was so much worse. I don't think it's, like, amazing now, but it was much worse. <laughs> it was so bad. I don't know how it was so bad. I think it's because I was just back to streaming and I didn't really, like, put any, uh, like, anything, any filters or anything on. I know you're just waiting till they rework Corky and then you'll play League. Yeah, surely I'll be back. I didn't realize how long it took me to kill a boss on the first playthrough, though. I don't think I killed anything for like a few hours. And the first boss I killed was the uh, Demi Human Chief duo. And it took me a long time to kill them as I had no armor on. I had a Morningstar plus plus zero or plus one. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't very high. And I just could not get that fight down. I was at level... I don't know if I was at level one, but I was probably very low. All right, where the hell do I drop to now? Right down, straight down. Nice. I had thought about uploading that playthrough to YouTube at one point, but like listening to the audio quality now, I, there's there's no way. I would ever upload that to YouTube. It's so bad. But I will upload the DLC, and I'll probably just keep the DLC on Twitch too. Because, uh, I don't know. Why not? Viego has a sword that has more polygons than the entire model of Zillion or Corky. That is pretty wild. I can't wait to see my Radon Saga again. Six hours of fighting him, and then I left because <laughs> I didn't beat him. He came back at like level 80 something. I'm, I'm very curious just to see like the hitboxes on it, too, honestly, and how much damage he was dealing. Them Cho'Gath and Jarvan looked like they were from 2012. I mean, they were. Probably before then, to be honest. It's interesting, like, I, I you know, I don't think they would ever do it, but like, I wonder if they had con ever considered recycling champions. Or like, you know, sunsetting them to steal a turn from Destiny. So basically, like as they come out with more and more champions, like they would take some away and just like remove them. But I think the only reason Destiny did that with this content is because like storage space, really. I don't think League of Legends would do that unless they had like a thousand or something. But at the rate they're going, they're not going to be anywhere near a thousand until Riot Games no longer exists. I mean, how many new champions did they come out with in a year? Like four or five? I'm guessing, I honestly have no clue. It could be 10 for all I know. Either way, if it's 10, to come out with another 800, four to five, okay, so you're talking 20 years to to make like, uh, oh God, I can't do math right. 50, 100 champions, 20 years. So you're talking like well over 100 years to uh, get 800 more champions. 
I wonder if they'll do League of Legends 2. I feel like they don't really need to, you know? But they could. You don't think they can make more than 30 champs, like 30 new champs? It's hard, I think, just to come up with new ideas for things, you know? We could do a League of Legends Champions all roll series? No. <laughs> I won't. Hey, Kazbig. I'm doing well. How are you doing? All right, Elmer next. Then Caleb. Yeah, I think going back to that first playthrough too, it was just interesting to see like the order I did things. Like I didn't kill a lot of Limgrave bosses. I, I did a lot of exploring in Limgrave. I just somehow didn't find like any dungeons at all until I think after Stormvale, I'm guessing. I'm still like, I, I just watched me killing Godric, but I think I explore Limgrave more and then do some other stuff. But I think by the time I had killed Godric, I only fought like 10 bosses. But what I want to do is I want to like actually kill all the bosses on that save file before DLC. So I'm kind of looking back to see what I missed. Some of them I killed after my first playthrough was done as well. Like I think I did all the night bosses uh, after the last video of the first playthrough. But I think I still have the Giants Mount Tops Catacombs or the no, it's the Hero's Grave. Actually, I didn't do. Actually, no, I think it is the Giants Mount Top Catacombs. The one with the Ulcerated Tree Spirit. I never did that because I just ran by it, I think, on my uh, first playthrough. I'm assuming I ran by it. I don't actually know. With, like, Nefiri or Briar, I thought they were back on track. With, like, uh, God, I can't read. I thought they were back on track doing good champs, but now they released the Smolder Atrocity. Well, you know, not every, uh, not every champion's gonna be a hit. Smolder, the newest one? The one with the abysmally low win rate? I think what's cool, though, is, like, there's enough people playing League where they can be like, okay, this needs a buff or this needs a nerf because there's just so much data pointing to that. You know, so if someone has like a low win rate, they can be like, hey, you should probably increase this. Because not a lot of games are fortunate to have data like that. Because max HP true damage is unhealthy for the game since you can't counter or itemize against it. Does Smolder have that? I mean, that's like Bleed and Elden Ring, right? Kind of, right? Not quite, because I'm not talking PvP. But it's so strong that it, like, makes everything else just worse by comparison. Gotta bleed. Hit me. Okay. Going to Kaelid. I seriously can't believe I don't forget more bosses. Because if I'm just rambling, like, I feel like it'd be so easy to just, like, miss a dungeon or something. And chill in playing Helldivers 2. You like Starship Troopers. That's the whole vibe you get from the game. I actually have not seen any gameplay for Helldivers 2. I would like to try it sometime, though. I hear pretty much only good things. He does, and it was 6.5 burn over a few seconds, and now they remade it, and it's less. But it scales with his stack, so it's worse. Worse for people playing him, or worse for people uh, against him? And if he has a low win rate, isn't, isn't it good to make him better? Play quick play with the randoms. It's cray cray. The community isn't bad at all. Well, that's nice. Doesn't have a low win rate anymore. Okay, I see. And they just added mechs. Oh. Be needing.
Redon. It's coming up. Redon versus Melania part two. This time Melania will win. She will win and wipe the Kaled scum off the earth. Master Plus, he's 51% win rate. 50% ban rate and 20% pick rate. 50% ban rate's crazy. Wish Helldivers could come to Xbox. Is there like an exclusivity deal or something in place? Jarman not here. Sag. Oh, I have the Wing Sword insignia now, so I just realized. Uh, I'm gonna take this off. It's a Sony game? Oh, I didn't know that. Celebration of War. Favorite voice line in this game? It might be Godric's scream, honestly. <laughs> I love that scream. Also a big fan of Morgoth. I don't know if I have a line specifically, though, from Morgoth that I like over, like, all. Dung Eater's Lion. Oh god, the arrows. Damn, I was hopeful I could just kind of like duck under that. I want to do a waterfowl here. Dung Eater's your waifu? Interesting. Okay, Wing Sword Insignia does proc from this, that's pretty sick. Of course, I can't hit anything. That attack on release was like impossible to dodge. I remember. It was so frustrating. He's running away. I'm in patches. He will win, he just runs away. Uh oh. It's kind of a long fight, to be honest. That's because I was trying to waterfowl and it uh, wasn't always working. I mean, I'm sure in his mind he probably wins. Doesn't help me, though. I hate that it kicks you off torrent there. I don't know why it does. Run, torrent, run! We run. Such a long trek to get to this dungeon. I'm pretty sure you actually can't enter this dungeon if the fight's still going. I think there's a, a fog gate here. Or something. I think I saw that in a randomizer, or... I don't know. I saw it somewhere. Probably in a randomizer. That would make the most sense. Mind, vigor... I could do the dungeon crawler mod too, I've never done that. But I don't know how, I don't know if like all the bosses are available in that or not. I don't know how that would work. Damn it. You can jump that, but I'm a little late. Take that. It's trying to shoot me, but it can't even see me. Insane AI. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the stamina regen tier on the Physic. I just have the heal on still. Oh yeah, I don't need this because I don't have the uh, thing on anymore. Ritual Shield Talisman.
Explosion. No explosion yet? Here it is. It's coming. It's not coming. What? It's coming now. Really? Huh. Weird. Now it's coming. No explosion whatsoever. That was weird. I've never seen that. Alright, back to Lyurnia. Hmm, I'll level up. We got a death bird. It's nighttime, so that's perfect. Death raid bird, and then the Royal Revenant. The Royal Revenant, I think I'm just gonna fight on horse, honestly. Where are you? Thirteen K away. A couple streams, I feel, right? Do you know what you're gonna request? Damn, those things go far. Forgot to roll. Whoops. Takari man, here we go. I have five heals, huh? Four heals now. I think that'll be fine. Where is the thing? Is it this? I think it's over here. Yeah. Not cool, man. Yeah, I feel like that fight's a little bit easier to do on Torrent. A little bit. If you get knocked off, though, it really sucks. Can't level up. Just resting, I guess, so I get my flasks back. Take a little stroll through Karia Manor. So yeah, there's only a few more bosses in the area for now. One, two, five, I think. Not too bad. And then we're just in Altus for like an hour and change, usually. That's what happens. A lot of stuff there between Altus, Gelmir, and the outskirts. And like I've already done six bosses in Altus, plus Volcano Manor. If you count everything between like the west side of Gelmir and the east side of Lindell and Feltwins, I guess. There's like 41 bosses in that whole stretch. It's a lot of stuff. Pretty sure I can't level. Yeah, not even close. 